Hello everyone, this is Catrice Pia Camacho. So yesterday, I have visited two water and land formations here in our beloved city of Tagbilaran. So as part of our midterm project, I will give my critical analysis regarding to the following places. So let's start with Cabisi Beach. This water formation is located at Barangay Ubuan, which is one of the barangays in Tagbilaran City Bohol. This beach area has a world of pool for a refreshing dip during hot summer days. Cabisi is the perfect place to experience the cold stream of the north wind by the Maribuok mountain range. So, what are the benefits of Cabisi? First is, it serves as a place of relaxation. The serenity and scenic beauty as you unwind while walking on the fine white sand along with the crystal clear waves of salt water will surely calm your mind. Tranquil places like this will help lessen stress from the hundred monotony of urban life. Next is tourism. This paradise continues to attract tourists especially locals and foreigners, where entrance is free. There are also floating and native cottages with affordable rent fees. Perfect for celebration of birthdays, simple get-together, family reunion, or any occasions. Lastly, it serves as a source of living to the locals since fresh seafoods from the sea are directly sold to the market and say wow to the shades of green because we have here the green scenery of mangrove leaves which is a natural way of calming your mind so what are you waiting for visit the place but for now we have to look for the problems caused by the natural beach first is the moderate risk of flooding in the area heavy rains in increases the risk of flooding which is likely to impact those who live within the community and in lower areas. That is why the city government of Tagbilaran placed a warning sign at the area to serve as a warning to the locals to stay alert. Next is erosion and runoff. So there are big sharp rocks over the place. Once that small pieces of rocks are broken apart, then it's possible that people who climb the upper part of the rocks to go for a dive may harm themselves if there are eroded rocks. Another risk is sleep accident. There are smooth and slimy green algae that rise in the concrete stairs that makes the surface slippery and dangerous to walk on. So we must be extra careful. We have here the actions taken by the city government of Tagbilaran in coordination with the barangay officials to beautify and preserve Cabisi. The amendment number 204, an ordinance providing for the sustainable development, management, and conservation of the territorial waters in the city, including its fisheries and aquatic resources, through monitoring water quality management action plan, active emergency response, as well as measures to control water pollution. The barangay officials remain with their work in maintaining the cleanliness of the area. They make sure that there are no traces of trash in order to mitigate the problem caused by ocean debris and the danger that plastic pollution poses to marine life. So, as you can see, this is really a great and perfect place for taking Instagrammable pictures. So, here are the pictures of mine in Cabisi. So, our next land formation spot is the Ili Hill. It is located at Barangay Manga, one of the barangays in Tagbilaran City. Its peak reaches to 100 meters and is situated in the northern part of the city, about 5 kilometers away. Its formation is similar to that of the famous Chocolate Hills. The best time to visit the hill is in early morning to witness the aesthetic beauty of sunrise, making this hilly hill glimmer like golden-coated chocolate hill. Or in the late afternoon, 
to witness the glorious view of the sunset and the city. So, what are the benefits of El Hill? First is hiking activities. I have remembered our last hike on the challenging trails of the hill last 2019. It was really so fun and adventurous. Also, tourism continues to attract even in times of pandemic. Even every Lent and season, locals and foreigners hike the hill for reflection. Next is relaxation. This hill is a comfort place where everyone can enjoy close encounter to Mother Nature. With no entrance fee, you can enjoy the nature freely. If you need a dose of mountain-like breeze and scenic views, Ely Hill trees also serves as a habitat for animals such as birds, insects, and snakes. What are you waiting for? Visit Ely Hill now! But for now, we have to look also for the main problem caused by the natural hill, and it is landslide. Building houses and subdivisions surrounding the slopes of the hill is risky, since the disturbance in the natural stability of the slope accompanied by heavy rains or earthquakes results to rocks falling downhill. Next is the human-wildlife conflict. The area of Philly Hill is too small to serve as a habitat for the animals. That is why it is inevitable to encounter scenarios where animals such as snakes are found at the near subdivision surrounding the hill. So, the barangay officials of Manga, in collaboration with the city government of Tagbilaran, placed a warning sign at the area to serve as a warning to the locals to stay alert in emergency. They also mandated the Ordinance Number 245, amending Section 89, Article 7 for the land-based pollution under Title 2 of the Environmental Management Code, which mandates to share with the national government the responsibility in the management and maintenance of ecological balance and ensure the right of people to balance ecology. A legal and holistic policy framework for a holistic management of environment and natural resources of the city, including the Ili Hill. So, I've also taken pictures at the top view of the hill. Its view is really jaw-dropping. It's the best place to visit, including the Kabisi. So, that would be all. I hope you have learned in this video. And, thank you for watching!